what's going on guys welcome back to the channel if you guys you guys must be so mad at me with this series <laughs> because it's not that as i said before it's not that i'm not enjoying this series it's just that i keep forgetting it <laughs> i feel i keep forgetting that i'm reacting to this series for some reason i don't know what it is but it's like you know when you're just kind of like it's like you don't have the vibe or something like that. Because I said, as you guys can see, I am enjoying watching this anime. It's just the vibe ain't there to watch it sometimes. I don't know what it is, but I just keep tending to, to forget. Even when I um, want to watch it, it seems like something always comes up. Or it just seems not the time. <laughs> or, or something like that. Um, but, you know, I wish I could have done it. Um, but I promise that this upload will be the last upload for this one. I'm definitely going to be finishing it up with these last four episodes, nine through 12. So, um, so let's recap a little bit. Cause I do remember what's going on. You know, the last episode we watched kind of saw that she, um, Amara, she found out where her mom is right through the pendants, connect the, the two pendants connecting, um, them not knowing that that could happen but the dad knew um so those last few episodes that i reacted to was lit as hell like <sighs> crazy stuff happening now we got beelzebub on the scene <laughs> beelzebub um and it seems like somebody is manipulating the king i don't know if it's an hallucination but somebody was telling me in the comment section that somebody i missed somebody putting something in his drink and i didn't see that so i went back to check to see if i saw that and lo and behold that did happen i don't know maybe i squint and it was very quick i don't <laughs> i don't know maybe but anyways um we're gonna jump into this man um to see what's gonna take place if she's actually going to go look for her mom before this before the end of episode 12 let's see how they progress but we're going to be doing episode 9 through 12 okay so expect these four episodes to just go along um and we'll see how things progress okay so let's go do this and i will see you guys on the other side for the review of the entire thing let's do this So here we are at the end of another one anime. One more in the pocket. Finally, it is done. Um, so thank you guys so much, man, for tuning in for this anime. And I, I think I said most of what I wanted to say during the reactions after the episodes. Um, but I'm going to try to kind of sum up what I got from this anime. And things that I like, things that I didn't like. You know, um, for the most part, I liked a lot about it the the um the things i didn't like let me talk about what i didn't like first the things i didn't like had nothing to do with the story at all and the voice acting at all um the thing that i didn't like was the inconsistency with the graphics i've thought um with the with the animation i should say the animation i think um when it comes on to to see the cgi could have been done better i think a lot of times when it comes on to animation i think you know what i'm saying it can be blended better i don't mind seeing cg graphics i i don't mind it you get what i'm saying i don't mind it so i don't want you guys to think because there's this huge thing in the anime community talking about cgi versus you know pure animation or whatever the situation is um and for me i don't mind it it's uh cg is easier to do than actually and a animation it's easier to do but i don't mind the blend you get what i'm saying i don't mind the blend there was a lot of inconsistencies in the in the in the earlier episodes where you had an animation and i don't like when you do action scenes like that when you do action scenes where there's all these camera cuts here to there to there to there you know you want to see fluidity when it comes on to animation and i had a real gripe with that during the entire series where they would they just and then in the end, when they were showing certain kicks and stuff, it just didn't look natural. So I think they kind of got lazy in the end, and they just wanted to just finish up the story or whatever. And I think they got lazy. That's just my opinion. Um, other than that, 
everything else I loved about the story was great. The um the story was great. The voice acting was on point. You know what I'm saying? Um, this wasn't a story that was gonna make you cry. It was more of like you more empathize with what the, with what the characters are going through. Um, you know, and the yoki dokes and all of this other stuff that that happened. Thinking one thing is gonna happen and then it turns out that ain't it. And then another time again, then it turns out that ain't it. You know what I'm saying? I love the characters. You know, um, Favaro, Kaiser, Amara. Bacchus, all the characters, Azazel, Belzebub, Ma what's his name? Martinet, I think. Martinet, I think, is his name, which we found out was manipulating the th everybody from the get go. You know, love Jean's character. Um, I knew from the moment, from the moment that they had that conversation in the room, I knew it was going to be that Favreau turns out to be the Holy Knight. The reason why. A lot of things when you see foreshadowing like that and then you see what Jean can do, it might still gear you towards thinking that she is the Holy Knight. But I kn knew from that point, I knew it was a form of sh foreshadowing of him just happened to be in that room with the one person that could possibly be the Holy Knight that is going to be turned out. Because, I mean, he's the main character. Who else do you think they thought it was going to be? Come on. That's, that's easy storytelling right there. And I'm glad that this story wasn't linear as in it was just straight up. You know what I'm saying? That freaking Beelzebub scene, it blew my mind because I knew he was up to something, but I didn't think this dude has been working with Martinet, manipulating the whole situation the whole time. It turns out um, Martinet was freaking manipulating him too. So that part of the storytelling was just where I said, yo, this is easily top 50 anime of all time. You can't, you, 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 you can't doubt it. And I wish more people would watch it, you know, because it's one of those stories that is very quick, you know what I'm saying, and to the point, and you get it from the get-go, you get what, what the story was going to be about, but then they throw in, you know what I'm saying, throw in um, surprises at the end there, you know, at the last four episodes, they throw in some, some, some things there to help you to understand really what's really going on. So, um, this whole time she was just a vessel. She was basically just an imitation of her so-called mother that they birthed her. They, they basically, that angel that went looking for something. I don't remember when she, what she went to look for, but she, but she left or whatever. It wasn't that she left. It seems like she was captured or manipulated to be captured. And she basically was already dead, to be honest, in that they kept her in that um, ice or whatever forever. Um, and they just basically just used her to create something to go steal the freaking God key. And so that they can reunite the God key with the demon key and then freaking throw it at Bahamut, calling it the transcendent key. So, when I say this, this anime, it blew my mind. And it's not a lot of things that blows my mind. It, it's not Hunter Hunter. Don't get me wrong. It's not, Hunter, it's not on Hunter Hunter's level when it comes to storytelling. Not even on Naruto level when it comes to storytelling. Or even, um, you know, Ippo or, you know, the classic, Cole Geass. It's not nearly as good as that. But it's still a very good story. It's great it's mind blowing because of the reveal and the reveal changed everything because this whole time I thought we we would never get to see Bahamut. You get what I'm saying? We would never get to see him in full on action. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's, that's why at first when they met the old dragon in that other realm or whatever, they accidentally stumbled upon, you know, I thought it, that was the actual Bahamut and that's that statue that's been there the whole time that they've been trying to protect. I thought that probably there's something going to get switched up very soon. Um, but it turns out that wasn't Bahamut. But I'm just saying, wheels were just spinning because I was just trying to figure out things during this anime. And if if I'm bored watching something, I'm not trying to analyze shit. That's just me. If I'm just there for pure entertainment, I'm just there for pure entertainment. I'm not trying to analyze. But you guys know that. I try to analyze as much as I can when it comes on to anime, man. But this story, 
definitely 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 surprised me at the end love how they wrapped it up with the ending um you know with kaiser being a captain in the the holy army if you want to call call them that um jean her getting her back into her right mind and stuff like that i'm i'm so like you see how the angels and the demons came to work together to kind of trap Muhammad so that Favreau could get up there and stuff like that. Um, Azazel coming over to the quote unquote good side, you know what I'm saying? So all of those things, I, I'm, I don't know, man. I still, I still, I, th I think they could have continued a story like this, but I get what they were trying to do here. I, st I still think it's something that could have been continued for at least an, another 12 episodes. Um, not necessarily for, for, for the story wise, but I think it could have continued past, you know, you know, due to the fact that Favaro said that Bahamut is not dead. It's just gone for a while or whatever. Who knows what can happen? Because basically two of the most powerful beings in the universe sacrificed themselves to seal them the first time, which is Zeus and Satan himself. So it's just there's so much <laughs> to this story man that they could have continued on and i would have definitely watched it because it's very interesting because it's just so many different verses and mythologies that came together to create this anime which is very cool you know what i'm saying you had biblical names you know what i'm saying biblical gods biblical demons and stuff like that you had um you had norse What's their Norse? Yeah, you have you got dragons, so that's Norse. Um, you had um, um, Greek mythology. You had Zeus, right? And you have Christian stuff. You know what I'm saying? And you have, you know, you have the magical end of it. You know, elves and you know all that stuff. You know, so great stuff, man. I loved it. I loved it. It was the first time I'm watching something that kind of gelled all that stuff together so well um you know so i and, and i love when they do stuff like that because you know i've i just feel like it, you know everybody can just work together man <laughs> you know what i mean what, what's with all of this fighting you know what i'm saying um it, you know when it comes on to you know fantasy that's what i'm saying you know, there's always going to exist in our real world. There's always going to exist good and evil. We can't escape that. That's just that's just a part of our reality that we have to live with. Good and evil. It exists. Can't do nothing about it. People are, you know, when, regardless of if you believe in angels and demons, they, they're there. <laughs> and they're there. And, you know, some people might say, well, no, I don't believe in that stuff. But that that's that's up to you. You know, that's up to you, What whatever you want to believe or ignore, whatever, whatever it is. So, so I definitely enjoyed my time watching this anime, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction too. Um, shout out to that subscriber, man, that left, that let me know, that reminded me. So I said, let me knock out these four episodes, man, and just get it done. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, for all you loyal people that stayed and watched this anime, man. I really do um send you guys a special shout out for real man for keep supporting the videos leaving likes and leaving comments when you can um because it's as i said it wasn't like a popular anime or anything like that and i really just had to carve out some time to actually get it done so thank you guys so much again gratitude is never enough remember to like subscribe if you're new for all the new stuff that is coming up check out the rest of the anime on the channel man we have a, a, a a really good catalog so far of animes that we've finished some have continued gone into manga read-throughs um well only two re well really only one that i've done continued into read-throughs which is ippo but i am doing the berserk manga also so if you guys have never heard of it or you've caught up with where berserk is right now you just want to see my read-throughs go ahead because i'm enjoying the heck out of that manga but thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man like comment share whatever you guys need to do to let them know i finished another one so peace out guys everybody reacts out